Hello, everybody. My name is Munchlax. Uh, well, it's Pug Boy, but I keep on freaking changing it every god knows freaking when. But Minecraft. Minecraft just got announced for 4K graphics. But here's the thing. Will the Nintendo Switch be able to handle So, mine. So the portable screen has 720p. Just 720p. Meanwhile, my phone, or the phone I'm recording on, is 1080. The width of a bell, the very edge, or the the very very top right of my screen where I am pointing. Right here would be better pixel. Now, here's the thing. This only supports 7, 720p. Meanwhile, on the TV, it could run up to 4K. But wouldn't that be lame if you could only play the super surreal graphics in 720p? Now, there is a way to get around this. If the both console is working to get it to into 4K and the computer is working to get it in 4K. Oh, and perfect. And here's a little tip with your SD card on your Nintendo Switches: take your SD card out and then back up everything you have, and then keep this SD card. Because it's SD card in case you lose any of your information. You just plug it back into your Switch. It has downloads and a lot of hours worth of, um, worth of uh, Legend of Zelda. About 65. I haven't beaten the full game, but I've gotten faster than other people. The game's are getting so, like, long today. But I'm sorry for the short upload, but I don't think I'll be able to handle it. I know Xbox will, and honestly, I might just sell away my Xbox because I don't even freaking bother with it anymore. Hmm. So keep your SD card. If you have the carrying case... For SD cards, you could get one. It looks like a, looks like this, and you just slide it in. Thirty-two gigabytes. You could put up to one terabyte, but if you really be realistic, who's gonna do that? No one. No one's gonna do that. And people were asking me which ones for which. These are for SD cards. And these are for games also. It doesn't really matter. Also, I do recommend the Pro Controller for extended hours of gameplay. And I do recommend getting it modded. And you might say that's illegal, but us. A thing in the Supreme Court was passed that once you buy the product, it is yours and you could do it whatever you want. Now, does that go for digital or copy games of video, copies of video games? Not quite. You still can't illegally download Super Mario 3. And you can't sell digital games because then that could possibly lead you to losing your account and then spending all your money also this allows some more video game shops to open up rather than sending it to nintendo so that's gonna cost them around seven hundred and sixty nine thousand dollars ouch Definitely a stab in the back. Also, if you're running out of cables to put your USB, you might know that you already have some 
on the top, but there's one in the back. Also, do not cover this. Don't. Don't cover this or this. This will just affect your audio. See right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Like right down here where that little triangle is. Don't affect that and don't touch that. Well, you can. You just don't mess with the fan because that's the main fan to the console. And it's also going to start overheating if you keep it on too long. Another thing is that I'm going to put my friend code down below because I know um, you guys are going to be asking me, what's your friend code? What's your friend code? Also, if you wanted to know, no, it does not carry over to DS. I think they are implementing that. Also, this gives the Nintendo, Xbox, and pretty much everyone that has Minecraft is going to have to step up their game to get not just every Nintendo Switch player, but every PlayStation player, every mobile player. There's a lot of mobile players, but not as much as the Nintendo Switch or the Xbox or even the NES. I'm just kidding. The NES doesn't play. Oh, by the way, NES discontinued for SNES. Maybe. I think they discontinued it because it was too easy to remake in real life. Well, uh, yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe. Bye.